Hey everyone, going to have a quick chat about the sixth novel in the Porn Star Brothers series, Spiros and Jenny, or as I call them, Spenny, which is the adult couple celebrity nickname the grandkids gave them, although you don't find out about it until this book, under my adult author name of LJ Diva. It is exactly what the title says about Spiros and Jenny. It starts off in 2018. It's isn't a direct continuation of DeLuca or Stefan because obviously it jumps to 2018. They are in Armadale, New South Wales, where Jenny was born. They're celebrating Tomas and Roger finally legally getting married in Australia as two gay men because in 2018 we passed the law that gay, gays could get married. And so they all came back to Australia, the whole family, and all the extras and add-ons and great grandkids and all the partners came back and celebrated Tomas and Roger's official legal Australian wedding. So that's 2018. Goes on and on and on. You get some drama concerning the kids, especially Dante, who freaks out a little. And then oh, they recount the story of how they came to be. You know, the great, great grandkids are all huddling around Jenny's legs as she's sitting there. Tell us a story, great grandma. And so Spiros and Jenny tell the story of Spiros and Jenny. They met in 1950 when Spiros emigrated to Australia with two of his friends and Jenny and her friend Effie were picking them up because they were helping as volunteers with the immigrants. And that's how they, how they met when Spiros stepped off the boat and saw this beautiful 22 something called Jennifer Marsh. And that's how they met and fell in love. Turns out that Spiros's uncle and his family live next door to Jenny and her family. Because it's 1950, Jenny still lives at home even though she's 22. So that's when they meet. They fall in love. You get all the kisses, all the sweet little kisses over the fence and fireworks going off. And then he proposes in 52. They get married in 52. Have Carlos in 1953. Tomas in 1955. Pedro in 1957. It recounts more of the story about the fourth child they never really got to have, which was mentioned in Forever when Angelina gave birth to Alina. So you get more of that story and how certain things came to be out of that. You find out how they ended up back in Greece for 10 years. And then that sort of brings you to the origin beginning with Porn Star Brothers and their story. And obviously it comes forward. And then the story jumps back from 1967 to 2018. And then the book wraps up with, you know, Carlos throwing a bit of a shit fit. Cabot throwing a bit of a shit fit. Jenny sorting both of them out outside on the steps of the reception centre. Where her and Spiros actually had their wedding reception many, many, many decades ago. So from 1950 to 2018, it's a very long story. Most of Jenny's family's gone. She has one brother and two sisters left. All of Spiros' family's gone from vague memory. I should have read the book. I don't think any of his brothers and sisters are left. His parents are long gone, so are Jenny's. The houses are all gone. Everything's been, re been rezoned. But, you know, with the grandkids and now the great-grandkids and uh, all of the in-laws, there's a lot more family to deal with. You'll get some of the extra stories in the next book that you'll see next week. But by now you'll find out that pretty much everyone except for Dante is married off. So this is the story of Spiros and Jenny, how they met, how they came to be, how their kids, Carlos, Pedro and Tomaso came to be, and the story of their life and how they came to start the dynasty, the family dynasty, we say dynasty, not dynasty, the family dynasty of Stephanop Stephanopoulos Incorporated. That is a mouthful of a name. Hence why they had the nickname of Stefan. So that's Spiros and Jenny, the sixth novel in the Porn Star Brothers series under my adult author name of LJ Diva, or as I call them, Spanny, out in paperback, hardcover dust jacket, and ebook at all good online bookstores.